Welcome to Create Wealth Through Franchising. I'm your host, Kim Daly. Whether you're a CEO, a military vet, a real estate investor, or simply in career transition and ready to take ownership of your future, with each episode, you're going to learn valuable insights and hear inspiring stories from within the franchise industry. On that note, my guest stories are their own. And as a franchise consultant, I do not make personal brand endorsements or earnings claims, but I do educate, motivate, and inspire dreams. Now, on to the show. Welcome back to Kim Daly TV and Create Wealth Through Franchising Podcast. I am your host, Kim Daly, and today in the house, I have two special friends. They're actually new friends, but I hope we're going to be lifelong friends. (laughs) They have a very intriguing business model that I think most of my followers out there, you're going to be leaning into this episode. So please welcome to the studio my new friend, Mike, and my new friend, James, from Commercial Investors Group. Welcome. Thank you so much, Kim. We appreciate that. Thanks for having us on the show. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Okay, so this commercial investors group business addresses several real pain points that I think the majority of my followers um, have. And I want to dive right into the heart of it. Like the first one is taxation. I'm going to I'm going to have you talk about what commercial investors group is, but then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about This is the kind of model that if you are a W-2, highly paid employee, and you're looking for diversification, uh, let's say you're a doctor or a dentist or a surgeon, and you're looking for diversification, you have a little bit of time, not a lot of time to put into a business, but you also want to help create some tax shelters from your, your big earnings, this could be a great model for you. But on the other side, the other side of my investors or my uh, followers, guys, are typically people that are Airbnb investors or long-term rental investors, and they're always looking for diversification. They're looking for stability when the real estate market, the commercial, real, uh, I'm sorry, residential real estate market goes down. So I think that both of those groups are going to be leaning into commercial investors group franchise. So I guess to start us off, James, why don't you kick off with a quick summary of what commercial investors group is? Yeah, so commercial invest. Thank you, Kim. That was a great intro. We appreciate that. Really, uh, commercial investors group is uh, a franchisor. We're franchisor and we really help people do commercial real estate deals. We help and teach and coach people to do commercial deals um, by raising private equity capital to find distressed commercial real estate deals to build a portfolio of cash flowing property that's recurring over time and to build your net worth. Mike, do you want to add anything to that? That's pretty much it in a nutshell. I mean, the secret sauce to this business, I mean, it's a step up from residential. So we were a house flipping firm for 12 years and then we got into commercial and realized how much more exciting and fun commercial was. And then we realized that we could expand our portfolio across the country by partnering with other operators where we teach them how to do what we've done successfully and partner with them on these deals so that they can basically become a duplicate of ourselves in their market and the boots on the ground who's kind of finding the deals, funding the deals, and managing the assets after the fact. Let's go back to the fact that you've created a system um, and you want to coach and mentor people for commercial real estate must imply that it's harder than it seems. <laughs> Is that a true statement? Is that why, like, why can't I just go out and like say, hey, I want to get into commercial real estate on my own? Yeah, you're you're completely right. I mean, the, the big things and the reason why people need us and, and, and want to work with us is because... They don't know how to go raise private equity capital from other people and pitch their commercial real estate deals. In order to do that, you really have to have uh, a a really strong system to be able to consistently generate opportunities to find investors. And while they sometimes aren't that hard to find, what can be hard to find is a good deal that they want to put their money into. So if I'm starting out in this business and I just said, you know, I'm going to go do this on my own. I'm going to go find some properties and maybe I'm calling a few brokers and I'm, you know, I'm going to call some property owners or some people in the industry that I know 
and I'm going to dig and find and fight to find some opportunities, that's not really a system. What's what's going to happen is you may find a deal or two, but you're not going to know if that's a good deal. How do you know if that's truly a good deal? I think the biggest mistake people make in this business is that they overpay for a property, which has a chain of events that could really just, it's not a great situation. So the reason we exist is so that we're there to help people not, they don't want to make that million dollar mistake out of the gate. Um, And so that's really why we've developed a system to be able to generate leads, help people figure out what to pay for it. We provide a software solution that we built from the ground up that is, there's nothing else like it in the world to be able to look at certain metrics to say this is a good deal or not a good deal and here's why. Um, And then be able to put together the funding for that deal and manage it. And then I love what you said because that all those systems are going to make it repeatable, right? And that's the key to building wealth, right? Is that it's, it's repeatable. That's the leverage. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if you're loving this episode, please do me a quick favor and leave me a five-star rating and a short review. Your feedback fuels my growth and rankings and shows others that this podcast is valuable. Now, back to the show. So, Mike, let's go back to something you said about, so you were in the real estate uh, investing world for 12 years, and then you went over to commercial. So for those people who are listening who are in commercial, like, what have you found, like, what are some of the key differentials between residential to commercial that you believe make commercial more fun, maybe more profitable, faster, easier, better, whatever those um, accolades are? Yeah, that's a really good question. And You know, I think the reason I never got into commercials because I thought it was too big. I thought it was outside of what I was able to do. And a lot of people think about real estate in terms of how much can I buy with my own down payment? And they don't realize that there's millions, literally millions of accredited investors across the country that are starving. They're drooling, thinking of and looking for opportunities to get their money to work where they can earn really stable returns, but more importantly, have all the tax advantages where they're generally not paying any tax on that until they sell the property. And that's why- And passive. Put that word in there. (laughs) Right? Accredited investors looking for passive passive opportunity, Kim Daly. (laughs) Yeah. So that's, I mean, when when you think about real estate, it's one of the unique opportunities where you can generate recurring revenue without having employees. A lot of businesses require a lot of employees. A lot of the real estate plays are cool because you can get the money to work. And as long as you're able to keep those tenants, the problem with going and buying like a single family house, if you want a comparison between residential is you got to get 40 or 50 houses before it really makes sense to put a third party management company in place. Otherwise they take all of your profit. With commercial, you can scale up really quickly. And I find what's cool is your your end user, your customer is a small business owner typically, if you're buying the type of properties that we target. So you're bumping shoulders, you're having conversations with cool entrepreneurs. They're exciting. These are people that are generally, you know, smart, well-rounded people that you can gain a lot from versus dealing with renters. And there's nothing wrong with renters. I'm just finding that I'm getting a lot more value out of life in having interactions with small business owners. Um, It's really cool to get to know them and their businesses. It's bankers hours. So you're not doing Sunday open houses. You're not doing evening showings. And it's scalable. You can put in third-party vendors in place right on your first deal. You generally would outsource everything, construction, leasing, property management. You're not doing any of the day-to-day grinding. Your role is to just make sure those vendors are doing their job. That's really what your primary role after you buy the asset is. That's amazing. So let's take it back to you, James. So on that note, when you're thinking about a franchise, a good franchise candidate, what are some of the, uh, what are their backgrounds? What are some of the skill sets you're looking for uh, to make a good fit? Yeah, like you said, it could be someone who's a high net worth individual. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, this We have a franchisee, husband and wife team. 
they sold their business, got a nice chunk of cash, and were looking for something different to do. They didn't want to start a new business. They didn't want to grow a big team, and they, they didn't want to take the time and the effort to do that. They wanted something that was a little cooler, something that would help provide you know, a, a recurring cash flow model with growing their net worth and really a shelter for their income and, and for the next generation or two or three. And so they were really excited to say, hey, we can go look at buying commercial real estate properties using our strategy in the system. And, um, and that it's just, it's a, a bit, you know, more exciting than what they were doing in the past. So it could be a business owner who maybe they're selling their business or just sold their business and they got a nice chunk of cash. It could be either a retired um, or active, you know, ex business executive. Um, Mike, help me out. Who else are we, we targeting? I mean, we're targeting people that don't want to work 40, 60 hours a week building somebody else's business. We're looking for people that really value tax shelter. And we can talk about tax shelter when you're ready, but there is nothing like real estate in terms of tax shelter. It, it is the best investment vehicle available anywhere for tax shelter. And that's because the laws were made by a bunch of people that were all wealthy through real estate. <laughs> Dale Carnegie says it best, 99% of the world's millionaires made their money in real estate. And those are the people that influence the laws. And the laws are really, really attractive in the real estate game. And that's why it's cool where you can get these kind of asymmetric returns. You're getting really good returns compared to the risk that you're taking for those returns. And when you implement a proven system, you can really structure away most of the risk on these projects. And that's what's exciting about these. The candidates that are looking for this, they, they love this idea of real estate. They love the idea of being able to do bigger deals rather than doing 50 single family homes. You might only have to do one or two commercial deals to do really well. The other thing they're looking for, though, is lifestyle. One thing commercial real estate affords you is this lifestyle business. Like I have a house in Florida. We'll go down there for the winter. You can do that in this business where you can work for chunks of time and you can work completely remote and you can do all these things to put this big recurring revenue in place and outsource all of the day-to-day -day headache stuff to third-party vendors. So we've systemized all that and what we do is we unlock that for people that are looking to make a change and it's a really small investment. We're not going to talk numbers, but I can tell you that this investment compared to other opportunities is a very, very small number, comparatively speaking. And so it's kind of a low risk option for people that are excited to build something that do value tax shelter. What an amazing setup. Like if you're not on the video, you can't see me smiling from ear to ear, but my followers out there, I hope you're leaning in and grinning like Kim Daly was and still is when I listen to them talk. So we were on this like training call with this new franchise, you know, and I'm excited to hear what it is. And then I was really excited because these are the gems in franchising, right? Like I'm not out there. If you follow me, you know, I'm not your Jersey Mike's girl, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that investment. I'm just not that girl. I'm not bringing you that. I love businesses with these characteristics. And who out there listening doesn't want a business with these characteristics? Have you heard anything that made you go, ew? Like, I think the only thing I, I might ask a question on is do people, candidates coming in worry about being able to raise the money? I can see how some people may trip over that. Yeah, I can answer that. Um, certainly, that's a, a fear. Uh, you know, what if I can't raise the money? What if, how do I do that? How do I talk to people? Cole, Kim Daly, please. <laughs> Cole, Kim Daly, please. Um, and, and really, think about it like this. We, we show them how to grow a network of investors by what we like to call TTP. And it's called talking to people. Um, you're not pitching them. You're not selling them on your investment. You know, you're not, it's not that gross cold call that no one likes to do. What it is, is you're calling people and you're saying, Hey, look, I just want to know if you want to be on my list. I'm doing commercial real estate deals. Have you ever thought about that? Would you like me to reach out to you when I have something real? And that's all you're gathering is really kind of a temperature check of, yeah, I would love to find an alternative alternative investment vehicle 
that can provide some really solid double digit returns uh, that you can't get elsewhere. And, and there's some other advantages to that, certainly that we could talk about. So that's what's exciting. And then it's asking for referrals. So, you know, it's not, it, it, while it is a secret and it can be scary to think through that, um, the way we position it with candidates and our franchisees, what you realize is it's not that hard if there's a system. So that's what we're excited about. And people are really, you know, that are successful in this business to kind of go back a second. You know, they have some business financial acumen. They're very teachable and coachable. If you've got if you've got someone that's like, I've got it all figured out and I know what I'm doing, they're probably not the right fit for us. Okay. It's sure. it's they're the not the right fit that, for franchising in general, James, in right? General, yeah. You're... You gotta be like a little ego surrendered and like willing to follow the lead of somebody yeah. who is the expert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're spot on. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if you're ready to begin your own journey to find the perfect franchise, please email me right now at inquire at kimdaily.tv. My services are totally free for you. That's inquire at kimdaily.tv. Now, back to the show. I mean, I would I would add to that, James. A hundred percent of the candidates we talk to are afraid of raising capital because they don't understand it. And the confused mind says, no, it's like having your first baby, you freak out. But once you've actually done one, the second time around, you're like, oh, I kind of know what to expect or how to do it. So it's not as scary on your second child, right? I think I was going like 20 miles an hour in the shoulder driving home with my first kid. And on the second one, I was, you know, <laughs> normal. <laughs> and so raising I remember capital, they hand you that baby in the hospital and you're like, uh, you're, you're letting me go home with this thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, Are you, you sure about that? Believe it. And so raising <laughs> right. capital for your first deal is that same way. But that's why people go to franchising. I mean, I would I would venture to say that most of the people we're talking to who get placed in a franchise didn't know that business before they got into it. Most of the people who are looking at our franchise don't know real estate. They don't know how to raise money. That's why you're buying a franchise. It's so that we can show you a system. And after you've gone through it, the fear dissipates because you realize it's not as difficult. And who out there doesn't have money in the stock market or mutual funds or whatever that's like, I don't even know what I own. I have zero control over my wealth. And I can wake up in the morning and 10% of my wealth is wiped out and I have no control over it. That freaks people out. So people are starving more than ever to get into something that's really stable. Historically, real estate is one of the most stable asset classes there is. And if you have a good investing strategy like uh, ours, where it worked really well in good markets, but it actually works the best in down markets. People are like, are you afraid of what's about to happen? I'm like, yeah, I'm afraid I won't have enough time to do all the great deals that are going to land in my lap. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's the awesome. commercial real estate. That's what we do. So we do really well. We did well through COVID. We did well through the George Floyd riots that we had here in Minneapolis. And, you know, when there's distressed commercial real estate, we can get, you know, good deals and you make your money when you buy. Like James said earlier, you know, the biggest mistake you can make is overpaying for something. And that's what our system really is built to help people avoid doing. You know, as you're, as I'm listening, I'm thinking of the corporate executive that maybe has worked all over the world, right? And he's just dying to get home and plant some roots, like to work locally, to know people. And so to your point, James, of uh, building this network of people that are accredited accredited investors to be able to pitch them a deal. I mean, come on, that's a little bit sexy, right? I mean, I don't care who you are. If you're if you're the man, you're the expert in your local community and you get a group of friends that know you as the commercial real estate investor and they're coming to you because they've got, you know, a uh, $100,000 bonus or, a, you know, whatever coming their way and they want to avoid the, you know, paying gains in the future, they want to put it into something real and stable, and they're coming to you? Come on, that's a little bit sexy. <laughs> Not to mention the friends you're going to make locally, right? You're talk about impact in your local community. But let, let me go one step further to what, uh, Mike, what you said about the renters. So in comparing, re, you know, residential to commercial. So now you're also turning a distressed property into a good commercial property that you're bringing business owners in as your tenants. 
And you're giving them an opportunity to to live their dream and build their business by, you know, taking up, you know, life in your building. So the passing on effect of what you're doing here and just like the the way that you could position yourself in a local community as an expert in commercial real estate and the number of people that you genuinely could help. I mean, that has to make a lot of people who are listening feel really excited, I would say. 100%. I mean, um, you know, we love Zig Ziglar. You know, one of his quotes that really resonated with me was like, help enough other people get what they want out of life and you'll have everything that you want out of life. And that's really what we do. We unlock hidden potential in people and in places. And in doing so, we're compensated really well because we're creating tremendous value for our tenants and for our investors. We're delivering returns that they're just not able to get in the stock market, all sheltered by these huge depreciation benefits. Do you want me to talk about some of the tax? No, I want you to end right there because that's the tipping point. I mean, Mike, like my heart is like jumping out of my chest right now. So I just want to do the call to action. Like for anybody who's listening to this quick little nugget of an amazing franchise opportunity that only Kim Daly wants to talk to you about, you have to inquire right now. So I want you to follow the email on the screen right now or reach directly out to inquire at kimdaily.tv. That's inquire at kimdaily.tv. So not to cut you off right there, but all the rest of those secret little nuggets, I want you to save for your one-on-one because this is the juice of what you offer. And I want to engage these people in your process so they just don't start reacting from, you know, one where their mind goes and really allow you the opportunity to set up from the ground floor, the foundation of who you are and what they're getting and what your system includes. And then you can circle back to those great tax advantages. Does that work for you, Mike? (laughs) That works for me. Fantastic. This was even better than I knew that it was going to be. Like, I am so thrilled to, to know you, to have your franchise as an opportunity to be able to present to my followers. And I hope that we're going to be, you're going to be guests on my show, repeat guests, and we're going to be celebrating a lot of lives changed because of Commercial Investors Group. So thank you so much for being my special guest here today. Kim, thank you. We're honored to have been on the show. Thank you so much, Kim. Until next time, my name is Kim Daly, and I want to be your daily coach. You can find more content just like this on my YouTube channel at kimdaily.tv. And if you're inspired to take the next step to explore franchises matched to you, please email me right now at inquire at kimdaily.tv. That's inquire at kimdaily.tv. 